you guys tune in to the end of this video to find out what this has to do with our new series called Summer Soap. So you guys remembered how at the beginning of COVID, it seems like everywhere we were seeing videos, commercials, even promotionals about how to properly wash our hands. Okay, 20 seconds, swirl your fingertips. Oh, don't forget your thumbs. Well, when this happened, suddenly we realized we've been washing our hands wrong the whole time, or we didn't know anything about disinfecting or spreading germs. Sometimes it can feel like we don't know what we're doing or where to start. Have you ever wanted to study the Word of God but have no idea how to even get started? Well, if you tune in for the next three to four minutes, I'm going to talk to you about what soap has to do with Bible study. Now let's think of the word soap as a template for basic Bible study. Each letter represents a different step in the order that we need to be able to study scripture. First off, we have the letter S and that stands for scripture. You're going to take your passage that you're trying to read and read it several times. Read it over and over and over. You can even read the stuff before it and after it to really understand it and even look at different versions. My favorite versions are the NIV or the NLT, which is a New Living Translation. Now this next step is very important. After you've read the scripture, write the scripture down. If you're reading a big part of scripture, then just pick one or three verses that are important to you and write those down. Do not skip the part about writing it down. Writing things down directly puts it in your brain so that it's easier to remember. Bonus points, after you write it down, paraphrase it in a way that's easier for you to remember. Now comes the fun part. O represents observation and that's my favorite part. This is where you get to be a detective and try and figure out what God is really trying to say. Okay, now these are just a few of the things that you can be looking for. Who wrote the passage? Who were they writing it to? Who was the original audience? Is there any repetition or any words that stand out to you specifically? Was this written before or after Jesus died and resurrected? Essentially, like a detective, you're trying to find out the who, the what, the where, the when, the how, and the why of the passage and write those things down. Bonus points, you can use apps like the Blue Letter Bible to find out what was going on in their culture or in that geographical area. This is my favorite part because this is where we can discover gold mines in scripture. Okay, now let's get into the step where we figure out what God is trying to say to you. A stands for application and it answers the questions, what is the Holy Spirit trying to say to you through this passage? And what kind of things is he trying to get you to apply in your life? Now take all the information from the observation step and think about your language or your behavior, your words, your family, your friends. What changes do you need to do in your life? How does this passage apply to our lives? This is an opportunity for us to be humble before God, to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and allow him to begin to shape some things in our lives. And then lastly, the letter P for prayer. This ties everything together. In this step, take the scripture that you put at the very beginning and pray it back to God. Use a template like in your word, it says dot, 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 and pray God's word back to him. If he has revealed to you something during the soap time, pray about it. Confess if he has revealed some kind of sin in your life or if there's changes that need to happen. Studying God's word in the soap model can take as little or as much time as you have to give. Some days it'll be 10 or 15 minutes, other days it'll be longer than that. The whole point is for us to get in God's word. When we get anchored in the word of God, the enemy can't steal the things that God has done. We can't say that we're going to give 98% to God and not be giving our all. If we want God to multiply what he's done in our lives, then we have to pour all of us out and let him pour into us. If we want to be unshakable, we have to be rooted on the word of God. So this summer, let's clean up, wash up, and soap up.